Hello and welcome to an overview of bill material management with Autodesk PLM 360. My name is Brian Shannon and in this video we'll showcase how PLM 360 helps you manage, visualize, and share up-to-date bill of material information across your entire organization. The Item and Bombs workspace in the PLM 360 tenant contains detailed information about component parts, assemblies, their structure, revision, and their life cycles. In this section we'll examine an existing bill of material, creation of a new item, and build bill of material structure. First, let's navigate out to the Item and Bombs workspace. This is under the Product Development category. And once we open it, we see the entire bill of material item master listed. The Details tab in the Item and Bombs workspace reveals the part number, description, classification information, a costing area that is based on the approved manufacturer's list, an area for environmental compliance, and up at the top, a life cycle and current revision and the effective date of this item. Over on the left side of the item and bombs workspace, I can filter down if I just want to look, for instance, at assemblies and subassemblies. I can use a predefined filter just for bombs. In the bill materials tab, the bomb structure can be viewed a variety of different ways depending on the perspective needed. The first and default view is the nested view. Now this can be expanded out one at a time, or there's a button up here to expand the entire tree view and see the entire bill of material listed. The bill of material can also be viewed as a flat bomb, and in the flat bomb the entire structure is removed. Now in this view we can also export uh, this particular view out or send it out as a zip with attachments. Next, let's take a look at how the bill of material can be viewed. There's a number of different potential configurations. We have a default view here which shows the item number in the descriptor, the revision, any potential changes or attachments, life cycle, the quantity, and the units. The view of the columns inside of the bill materials can be configured several different ways depending on the context of the user. For instance, under the environmental compliance configured view, note that it's the same bill of material. We just turn on columns for Rojas, Reach, and Conflict Minerals with a roll up at the bottom. The Bill Material tab also allows us to view the bill material in a historic sense. We can roll back time and look at the bill material as configured earlier. Next, one of the most powerful commands within the bill of materials is the ability to compare bombs. The bill material can be either compared against itself at an earlier working revision or optionally against an entirely different bill of material altogether. The Where Use tab within the Item and Bombs workspace is used to display the immediate parent of not only that item, but the parents of those parents all the way up the tree structure. In the Related Changes tab, change management records such as change requests and change orders seen here that are linked to the release or the revision of this bill material item are displayed. The Attachments tab of the Item and Bombs workspace provides you the ability to upload drag and drop attachments, check in and check out, view the version history, and when it comes to 2D or 3D you can also view the file itself so you can interrogate the 3D model. 